welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the series of videos on plant pathology and in this video let us focus on one more plant disease called sandal spike disease sandalwood botanically called centalum album is a semi root parasite and it is the source of a famous sandalwood and sandalwood oil and for which karnataka and india are very well known worldwide sandalwood is one of the most expensive trees and woods in the world uh, one kg of wood in the world at present price costs about 10000 rupees it's a very expensive wood and this uh, sandalwood which is very well known in karnataka and also in india is affected by a disease called sandal spike disease and there are two forms of this disease one is called pendulous spike the other one is witch's broom and this disease is caused by a mycoplasma also called phytoplasma and the disease is spread by a, a vector called leaf hopper jasus indicus this disease was first reported in Karnataka in the Kurg district in 1903 but at that time it was uh, thought to be a viral disease. Later uh, an Indian scientist by Verma uh, discovered that the disease is actually caused by mycoplasma like organisms. Uh, mycoplasma like organisms are uh, very small organisms they uh, belong to the genus Candidatus phytoplasma and to the domain bacteria and they are uh, causing serious problems in many uh, plants and also animals and they are very difficult to study because they are uh, ultra microscopic structures and uh, they were actually discovered in 1967 by a ja Japanese scientist and he actually called them mycoplasma like organisms or MLOs. The sandal spike disease uh, is very difficult to study because uh, the pathogen is, uh, is very small and it is uh, pleomorphic and it is a very fragile organism and it can be studied only by using electron microscope. That is the limiting factor in studying this disease. And these are the features of uh, phytoplasma or mycoplasma which are unicellular prokaryotic organism they range in size from 200 to 800 nanometer they are pleomorphic because they don't have a definite shape and they lack cell wall and they are bound by triple layer of lipoprotein plasma membrane uh, and the phytoplasmas are very sensitive organisms as i mentioned already and they are obligate parasite you can see the other features of phytoplasma or mycoplasma like organisms this is the uh, picture in which you can see the uh, cell of a mycoplasma which has got a triple layered cell membrane and it has got a dna as the genetic material and there is no cell wall and there are some soluble rna molecules also within the cytoplasm besides uh, ribosomes so it is an uni unicellular prokaryotic organism belonging to the domain of bacteria coming to the symptoms of this disease it is uh, characterized by extreme reduction in leaf size accompanied by stiffening and reduction of internodal length in advanced stages the entire shoot gives the appearance of a spike in fluorescence and uh, within one or two years the plant if it is infected by this disease is dying and dies and you can see the picture here where you can see on the left hand side the healthy branch on the right hand side you can see the infected branch and in the middle the diagram B shows the, uh, the picture where you can see the branches are highly compressed and the leaves are highly reduced and the internodal lengths are reduced and it looks like a spike or it looks like an inflorescence that is why the name is called sandal spike disease this is uh, another uh, picture where you can see the witch's broom sandal spike this is also called by the name witch's broom you can also see one more picture where you can see the healthy branches and infected branches coming to the symptoms and uh, as i mentioned uh, two different types of uh, diseases are identified in sandal spike one is called uh, rosette spike or witch's broom 
where the leaf size is reduced and the leaves will become stiff and they look like an inflorescence. In the advanced stages, the leaves become reddish, yellowish and uh, this uh, symptoms appear just before the death of the plant. By this time, the plant would have been completely infected by this disease. Ultimately, the infect plants, infected plants get dried up and they die. So that leads to the loss of uh, sandalwood uh, plant and the sandalwood plantation is very expensive and it is actually a big loss to the government because uh, these days sandalwood is the property of the government. You are seeing one more picture where you can see the infected parts of the plant. The other type of syndrome, uh, symptom that is called pendulous spike where the uh, spike that is the branches droop down, droop down. One in first case they are erect and second case they droop down and these the uh, effect is same, the effect is same, the drooping shoots will increase in number and uh, later one by one all the branches will droop down and leading to the death of the sandal spike, uh, sandal wood tree caused by sandal spike disease. And this is the vector uh, leaf hopper Jasus indicus. This is the one which actually spreads the disease. And uh, if you want to control this, this is um, one method is to control this uh, leaf hopper. Coming to control and management, there is no specific method to control this disease. However, there is one uh, example where Mysore gum tree, that is Eucalyptus terity cornis. And this, this, is, this plant, if it is uh, grown about 10 to 20 meters away from the sandalwood tree, that can bring down the infection. Apart from this, uh, there is no other method by which you can control uh, this disease. The only method is sanitation. Infected plants have to be removed and taken away and they have to be uh, destroyed. And that is the only method by which you can control this disease. But now, attempts are being made to develop genetically engineering pl engineered plants are being developed and uh, these plants may develop disease resistant. So, so far there are no disease resistant varieties available and uh, now the research is uh, underway to develop disease resistant varieties and the best method is to control the vector that is jasus which is known to spread this disease. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please uh, like, share and subscribe so that you will get alerts whenever I release my new video. Thank you very much.